So let's have some fun. Let's make rugby championship predictions and projections, pop in a couple of scenarios and see where that takes us. I'm probably going to be miles out, but this is what I'm feeling at the moment. I'll try to limit myself to the number of scenarios because it just gets out of hand and there's many ways you could do it, but have fun with it. Let me know what your projections would be, what your scenarios would be. After two rounds, this is how it stands. South Africa, perfect on points. 10 points there, two wins, two bonus points. And of course, in the Rugby Championship, to get a winning bonus point, you have to beat a team by three clear tries or more. New Zealand are on five points and they lost to Argentina by eight points, remember, meaning they don't get a losing bonus point. So maybe that could be crucial at the end. Argentina with one win on four and Australia, two losses, no losing bonus points. So they are on zero. So let's go for my prediction, my conservative projection, if you like. Those two games of South Africa versus New Zealand, I can see maybe going one each way. So one losing bonus point for either side and uh, four points for the winners each. Then I say that Argentina versus Australia in the first game is a win to Argentina, but not by three clear tries. And in the second game, Australia maybe do a bit better and get one losing bonus point. So I'm just feeling like Argentina win both of those games. Then the Australia versus New Zealand game in Australia, I'm saying a 4-0 there. So no losing bonus point, but New Zealand don't get a winning bonus point either. Argentina keep it close against South Africa in Argentina, so one losing bonus point for them and four for South Africa. Then New Zealand playing Australia in New Zealand is a 5-0 and South Africa playing Argentina in South Africa is a 5-0. So that would leave it like this. South Africa winning the Rugby Championship on 24 points, New Zealand 19, Argentina 13 and Australia with the solitary one point. So if you were to push me, that is what I say is going to happen. Let's see how wrong I am. I probably will be because predictions make fools of us all. So I'm going to use that as my baseline for my three other scenarios. One is Australia do better than I think and they win one game versus Argentina. They don't get a bonus point point win so it's four to zero how does that affect things well they're still on five points and Argentina on nine so I think for Australia to do anything to get out of last place they have to win both for me against Argentina which I can't quite see happening so even if they win one game it doesn't really change the order of the final standings so the next scenario is South Africa get the double against New Zealand it's in South Africa so that could definitely happen although I'm not seeing an absolute smashing there so I'm saying 4-0 both times but even if it's a 5-0 it doesn't affect the final result there and then I'm saying that Argentina open out on Australia and get winning bonus points in both games there 5-0 5-0 that would take Argentina with the rest being the same above New Zealand so in that scenario Argentina could climb to second although I am seeing it fairly unlikely New Zealand on 14 Argentina on 15 Australia would finish on zero then the final scenario otherwise I get too carried away is New Zealand doing the double against South Africa away from home so I'm saying they are tight wins both times that would see New Zealand go ahead of South Africa by one solitary point so it has to go their way so I see it as a big ask for that to happen Argentina on 13 Australia on one so for New Zealand to win they have to win both in my eyes of course there's loads of other things that could happen but those are the projections I'm going for I'm saying South Africa are projected to win it. New Zealand have to really go some and probably win both games in South Africa. So let me know your scenarios down below. Play around with the numbers. Love to know what you come up with. If you like these sorts of videos, please like, please subscribe, which is important because I'm going to try and do a live stream of that first South Africa versus New Zealand game. It's 4 p.m. here in the UK, so it's doable. I've got fast internet now. Going to give it a go. I've done it once before years ago. Haven't had good enough internet, so I'm going to give it a go. If you want to do a watch along with me and see what the Northern Hemisphere guy makes of this game, love to have you with me. You need to be subscribed, so get subscribed. I'm going to try and get that one signed up so you can get the notification for that live stream. Wish me luck on that one, and I'll catch you next time.